Man, today I want to tell you a story about Brother Backbone. Let's talk about it. going on closer to god ministries welcome back to another righteous spirit-filled episode today i hope to help you get closer to the truth closer to the kingdom and closer to the will of god hallelujah amen we got to give him all the glory all the praise all the honor because he is truly deserving of it man a lot of people don't even realize why men of today why modern men doesn't have any backbone doesn't stand for anything righteous and we're just out here flapping in the wind and i'm gonna tell you man even though I grew up around manly men, around men who, you know, took heed to their role, I still struggled with this because of just the world we live in and the conditioning that this world will give you. And today, when we're talking about Brother Backbone, I want to tell you the, the reason why we have men out here with a gummy bear, a gummy worm type backbone, and they just yes to everything. And Long as long as I'm going with the flow, happy wife, happy life, and you just over here with mental health problems and suicidal. Man, when you think about the men of the Bible, man, you had most men of the Bible, they were alphas righteously. They were alphas righteously, and they had backbone. And then when you think about men of the Bible who weren't alphas, who were more like what we call modern day beta, you got people like Ahab who let Jezebel run him through the ringer, getting worked like a puppet. And when you look back at the origins of human existence on earth, Adam and Eve, a lot of people know this story of them eating the forbidden fruit. Christianity has said it was an apple and all of this type of fruit. They was eating strawberries and blueberries. But we, we disregard the fact that sin entered in this world through Eve and Adam was manipulated because he didn't have no backbone. You see what I'm saying? When you when you get back to that core fundamental, I know people are gonna say this sounds sexist, it sounds misogynistic, but that is the truth. When you look at when you look at scripture and it talking about you know them playing the blame game, Satan came to the woman first. And just think about the world that we would live in. If Adam would have said, hey, 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 we've been told not to eat this freaking fruit. Don't eat it. If she would have ate it on her own, there would have been a different outcome. Nowadays, when you look at modern men, we're not seeing men that are standing up righteously saying, don't eat the fruit. We're seeing men that say, well, you you, you, you probably don't want to eat the fruit because it's 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 not keto. It's not it's not fat free. It's not sugar free. It's not gluten free. But even though I would like to have a bite too, come on, man, wake up, brother backbone, wake up, wake up. You see what I'm saying? We can't put the burden on our women to get us right. No, our covering is God. And you just out here saying yes to everything. And if you have sons and daughters, I want you to realize that they're learning the wrong nature due to your lack of backbone. It's time for men to stand up righteously. It's time for us to have backbone because since the beginning of time, Adam showed us that we lacked it. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Check out the link in the description because I'm only shooting it gun barrel straight. Bow.